Well, I'm down scoping out the rail yard for my next catch out headed west. I've got one shot at it Monday and this doesn't look like a very easy place to operate out of since uh, it's kind of basically starts Union Pacific property right in here somewhere. It's pretty hard to tell. But I'm pretty sure this is where my train, you can see downtown Denver there. I'm pretty sure this is where my train is going to be made up. But man, I don't have a clue what I'd be looking for exactly. And we've got a steady drizzle today. So I am thankful I'm not actually trying to catch out today. I don't know what was honking back down there behind me. But, oh well, we'll see how it goes. So we'll see if I just get run off from right here or not. There goes the crew car. So in that regard, we know we're somewhere near the right area. famous Denver boot. I saw that walking away from the yard there when I was kind of scoping, scoping things out. So I've got a pretty short video just to kind of catch up a little bit on uh, my trip to Denver. So I uh, was pretty short on time and that train I wanted to head west in the mountains only runs uh, three days a week. And I came and hung around. It runs on Monday, Tuesday, or pardon me, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays was my understanding anyway. And so I hung around the yard and figured out where I needed to be, uh, I think, anyway. Who knows? You know how, how it goes. Things change in the railroad business. But anyway, uh, I never saw the train that I wanted. And I spent hours hanging around down there in the afternoons. It's supposed to be an afternoon train, as I understand it. Uh, and anyway, I just basically ended up running out of time. And the other factor that was coming into play as I was in Denver was they were just getting ready to have this railroad strike. And so they had shut down a bunch of stuff already. They weren't taking hazardous shipments and all kinds of things were going on. So it just wasn't a really good time to, uh, you know, try and head up into the mountains, so to speak, without knowing what I was doing. Interestingly enough, though, I think the spot to catch out of, or the area, you know, it's uh, kind of wide open. Uh, you know, I, I think the only way to do this in the daytime is to hopefully get somewhere where the train has to stop, uh, or it's doubled back building itself or something. But Anyway, it's one of those things that's on my list to someday come back and, and do properly when I've got the luxury of being able to sit around for days on end if need be. Uh, but interestingly enough, this area right here uh, was right where I had rolled out my sleeping bag and slept when I had come in on the 
uh, Z train out of Chicago this summer, the first time I came, or it was spring actually, the first time I came and it rolled all the way into the intermodal yard before I could get off of it. Luckily it was the middle of the night and I was able to get out of there. But uh, I, I thought it was kind of interesting that I stumbled onto that place where I had slept, spent the night. So I uh, goofed around in Denver and finally realized that uh, I couldn't waste any more time. I had guests coming to Madison. So I cut cut the trip shorter than, uh, well, I shouldn't say I cut it shorter than I wanted to. I should just say I didn't accomplish everything I wanted to because I wanted to go fly fishing up in the mountains. But I did get some fly fishing in in Denver and uh, caught a huge fish, man. Not really, <laughs> but I did catch a fish. Anyway, uh, you know, Denver's such a beautiful town. It's fun to goof around in. So just a little bit on the news front. I am getting ready to catch out. Uh, I'm not sure where that'll be in relation to when this video posts, but I'm headed to Chicago. I'm going to be planning on riding east of the Mississippi this next year, if I'm fortunate enough to be able to ride in 2023. And so I'm just going to uh, catch out, go to Chicago, and snoop around a bit and kind of make my plans for uh, some of my trips next year, or maybe even late this year, maybe some winter hopping yet. Uh, it snowed here the other day, so uh, that is that is coming. But the weather's going to be nice, so I'm going to get on the train and, and ride Uh here uh, yet in October, so we'll get a get a video out of that uh, shortly. Also, uh, I have uh, a leftover radio, brand new, one of those uh, Baofeng UV5Rs uh, to give away still. So if uh, you're interested in winning the radio, make sure and comment in the video below, and I will enter everybody that's listed in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and uh, hit the little bell so that it, you get notification because I will post in my community page when I make that drawing. It'll probably be uh, uh, middle of November before I get around to doing that drawing at this point. Anyway, I hope that everybody is doing well, and uh, we will see you on the next video, which will be an actual train riding video. Anyway, take care, everybody.